Okay, let's try this one again. Uh, do that. And that. So now we got friendly turrets. Friendly turrets help us out. We can hide back here while friendly turrets do friendly turret jobs of shooting guys. Wow, that's a lot of them. And this is not an easy room in the slightest. So don't feel bad if you have difficulties because so the fuck do I. And I'm going to consider myself the best at this game because no one else plays it. <laughs> yeah, this is a really strange gun. I don't really know what it does. But, like, you'll pick it up a few times. And it, I don't know, it's just really weird. Hack that. That. Pick that up. So it's like kind of a pulse gun. But it doesn't feel like it really does anything. So it's really, really weird. So you see how it's like, it, it's shooting and it's doing that thing and it's really cool and sci-fi-ish. But it doesn't, fuck, come on switch, there we go. It doesn't really feel like you're hurting them much at all, but when they use it on you, what the fuck? Wow, that was really close. But when they use it on you, of course, it feels like a fucking ton of bricks. So that's a thing I don't quite understand about this gun. I don't know if maybe I'm just using it wrong somehow. But, uh, it's, it's a lot nicer to the enemies than it is for you when you use it. I mean, it could all just be in my head, but it's, it just doesn't feel like the best gun. Like, I'll hang on to it for a minute. Just to see if my fucking mind changes. It just feels like it's the weakest gun you're gonna see in the game. And you're seeing it pretty fucking late in the game on top of that. Yeah, I think I got all the turrets here on my side. Excuse me. Let me run around and get as much health as I can. That guy's dead. That's pretty good. What are you shooting at, champ? There's no one here. It's a fucking platform. I want to see if there's any more health. What you need to do is you need to get inside one of these lifts and then ride down. There's not really anywhere else you can go. These little bopping things don't really help you much. You'd think it'd be, like, great and awesome, but it's kind of more like shit and not at all useful. Can I not get in there? I did this when I before and I died. Uh, can I go? I love that line. So now we take the lift. There we go. That throws me off every time too. You're focused more on the millions of enemies rather than the fact that there's a blip right in front of you. Okay, right here. Get rid of that guy. Shoot this one. I think I just got called a whore. Is that or he said cargo hold? Probably more likely that. But you know how similar the two sound. <laughs> that was a pretty friendly turret, all things considered. He wasn't even, like, attacking me. But I was like, you work for me now. And the turret's like, well, alright. If you say so. Alright, this room's another kind of problematic room here. In case you haven't realized, that's the theme. Oops, there is no one there. That's the theme of this area. Problems. Pick that up. Pick that up, I guess. That'll work too. Kinda makes me think of Phoenix Base from Nightfire. Oh, I'm being killed. See, now what I don't like about it is the fact that it's multi-floored. So it's kind of hard sometimes to tell where pain's coming from, because it could be coming from above you or below you, and it will come from both. I can get rid of that guy. We got the fucking blue falcon right here. Get rid of that guy. And yeah, you do have to tilt the control stick, so every time I do look funny doing that, that's just the way you, uh, throw them, really. So you gotta pull back to make them go forward towards you. I mean, it probably doesn't have to be as exaggerated, but, yeah. Well, I got at least one. Come here, champ! There we go. 
Probably should try one without touching it and see what happens, but I don't know if it'll work. I'm gonna go through this door. Bye! Alright, that was me not touching it. It looked like he just threw him back a tiny bit. Here's, a, here's another room that follows the tradition of suck. However, it is really, really cool looking. I do like this area. I think it's cool looking. It's just... I associate it with, damn it, this room is hard. And kind of annoying. Which I did take a look at the video as far as where that checkpoint was, and it hit 31 minutes. And I know I've got some stuff to remove from beginning, starting recording. And then stuff like, hey, you died because you suck. So I'm thinking I might push it. It'll probably end up to be like 27 minutes, and I, I think I'll tough that out as just a long video. So like 30 minutes is kind of where I draw the line, but I can do that. Like, I try not to do long videos because I do think it's... Like, I understand people have lives. I have a life too. We don't always have time to just sit around and fucking watch YouTube. Like, we have other things to do, and sometimes that is problematic for people's schedules. Which is why I try to keep it as close to 15 minutes as possible. But I also know that some people like longer videos. So it's it's this nice little internal battle of what do. Go away. And personally, I kind of just prefer it not to drag on forever, because when I upload it, I try and watch it back just to make sure that there weren't any mistakes I missed, and usually there are, like, something every now and again, and then I gotta put on an annotation. Wow, that hurt. Like, I watch it when I edit it. You f I feel like you should know that, because, you know, I'll put silly text on screen to correct a mistake, and then annotations is also me correcting the mistake. So there's proof that I've watched it at least twice to make sure it's fucking good. That and sometimes I learn things that I didn't, excuse me, know before. Yo, thanks. I burped. So wait. Now based on that little thing, I think it works. I think I got some. Yeah. Uh, hey, if I'm lucky, that got the people above me. Above that. I mean, above me is also true because they are above me. Let me just do this. I'm afraid it's on that. Which is why I didn't try and step forward any. Throw him. See, now, I really hope that my point has been exercised how cool and unique and interesting this game really is. Can you just... I guess it only works from all the way across there, because he's blatantly standing on it. Grab that stuff. Like, there are some very unique shooters out there. And I'm not so much against the idea of shooter games, like it might come off as that, but a thing that people don't consider is the fact that literally uh, two of my favorite video game series happens to be shooters. <laughs> and that's going to be Metroid and I'm going to say, Re no, James Bond, not Resident Evil, James Bond and Metroid. Those are my two favorite video game series and people think I don't like shooters. I mean, yeah, they're kind of like not entirely traditional, but, well, no, I'm going to say James Bond. Yeah, I don't know. Point is, I do. Yeah, this is what it was. Oh yeah, this room's awesome. Check it out. It's just not awesome if you get caught in the middle of it. So you do got to be really careful. But it's also really funny to watch the enemies get caught in the middle of it because they will. Like they're only so smart, and that's what's fun about this game. They're kind of daft, but you know. That's what makes video games fun. Silly things. Ooh, let me see if I can... Get down. You get down. Ow. 
Ow, that hurt a little. And yeah, if you uh, if you get smushed, common knowledge should imply that it's a one-hit kill. For both you and them. So it's kind of intimidating, especially with things like that. That's like a really small gap, but you know they gave you an entire year to get through. I don't know, that's like, it's a very unique environment, and it's very cool. Also feels kind of Jet Force Gemini-ish. And I'm thinking more like Iker Military Base. This just... I don't know, something about the way the gears are and all that, it's kind of just like eye candy. It's cool, like it may be boring color scheme. I'll own that in a half. But like... From like, uh, I guess a shapes perspective. Or something like that. Like if you saw this drawn or whatever the right way, like it'd be kind of a cool piece of artwork, you know, silhouetted or whatever. Like a simplistic art piece. It, it's cool looking. Uh, I picked up the wrong gun. Picked it up with the wrong hand, I mean. Try to get this guy real quick. Go ahead, get rid of, get rid of him. Always the problem. Always the problem. I hate these guys. Because they're always getting me almost killed. Because I'm trying to kill them. But no, like, the only reason I don't really fancy the gear room so much is just because of the fact that there's, like, it seems like there's nowhere to cover yourself, and that's what makes it hard. There we go. Whoa, hold on. Where the fuck did you come from? I say as I throw on my thickest accent ever. Which I always do kind of wonder about, like... I've been told I don't have an accent, but sometimes I can hear one with some of the words I say. And I've always thought that, like, if anyone... Wow, that was good. If anyone could decide whether or not I had one, it would probably be the people that watch me on YouTube. I mean, that's a small demographic of people, but... <laughs> you know, you... Someone's hearing my voice regularly, and it's like, well, what do I sound like to them? Let me, let me pick you up. What? Shoot, shoot the thing. Stop auto-aiming. Shoot the thing. The, the barrels. The barrels. Thank you. Catch. Also that. Oh yeah, and it's hot steam. I thought it was more electricity. But hot steam makes sense because volcano. You want to pick it up? Hot steam. Oh, Jesus, where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? References to Cotton Eye Joe. Yo, you wanna stop? Wow. Alright, well, let me just go get some more guns. Take that. Take that. We're done. Just uh, shoot that out real quick. Get rid of these guys. I'm dying. We'll be okay. Switch to shield just to be safe. Hopefully that got someone. I don't think it did. I didn't see any icons saying I did. I mean, even if it fails to kill any- Ooh. Retrospect, I got the shit. Oh, why did I get shot? I got killed and deaded. Deaded like breaded. Breaded like chicken. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Okay, I gotcha. How's it going? Don't do that. It's not nice. Eventually that thing will blow up. It blew up. I guess we'll just go here now. Because now we're now we're talking and we're not tech we're sort of where we were, but sort of not, in the sense that like during the fork in the road we took the other path. He jumped from his butt. That was 
they have something. Just, uh, just take that. I don't need to reload. Take cover. Take this! It didn't work. Go away. Yeah, I definitely want to get you out of my sight. He's dead. I didn't really fancy uh, getting a rocket launcher to my entire body. Yeah, he's dead. I think that might have done something, but not entirely. I can only think it. I can't get past these boxes. Barrels. Kind of. That also worked. Anyway, I was trying to say that, um... Even if it doesn't kill him, it's still an accomplishment, because that means it won't be used on me. And that's ideally what you want. You don't want to get hit with anything like that. How's it going? How's it going to you, too? Oh, look at him. Physics. They understand the basic con uh, principles of what happens when man meets rail. When man meets rail kind of sounds like a book. But it also sounds like something that would happen is like a metaphor with skateboarding. You know, like you're, you're doing tricks and you're grinding. And it's when man meets rail. It's a painful trick called, Ow, I just lost a testicle. But, um, it's not often performed. There we go. I also think it's really funny for people that know, like, nearly nothing about skateboarding to talk about skateboarding. Because, like, they can't even conjure words to describe what's going on, and it's kind of funny. See, like, I didn't do much! How's it going? It's really just, uh... How's it going? Go away. Oh, he's gone. He's gone! <laughs> How's it going? I think it might have some sort of ability to shoot through uh, multiple enemies or something. Not entirely sure. But as you can see, it does, like, faff all. The only reason anyone's died has been because of the fucking mag rail. Oh, want to switch. Wrong switch! Fucking... That annoys me, the stupid GameCube D-pad, man. It's crap as balls as balls as crap. I got rid of some guys, but not all the guys, so I think it, I'm gonna call it about where I was before. At least to pretend. To understand that it's just me running around and shooting men. But this time, I'm having the privilege of not dying. See, like that time it killed a guy. Why can't it do that more often? I mean, I think it's kind of a cool looking gun, it just it feels so inefficient in terms of visual damage. Like, when you shoot someone normally, you can see the fucking shot knocking them the hell out. But with this gun, you just don't get that same effect. How's it going? Uh, let me just do this. See, like, it's so slow. Like, is it better if I just do this? Just take two of them? Will this do me something? I mean, it's killing them by the looks of it. It just seems really weird. I would say it's my least favorite gun in the game, but that's just because I feel like when I use it, nothing really happens. But now things are happening, so I guess it's doing something. Yo. How are we doing, babe? Thank you. I will do my damnedest. I don't quite fancy the looks. <laughs> that was kind of entertaining. How's it going? Uh, let me just take one of those. Uh, thinking about it. Oh, 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 not hit. Not fancying it. Why? My shield was up. 
and I'm killed. Stop. Oh, there's that guy, alright. Uh, let me switch over, let me grab that, and let me do this. And, uh, one more for your measure. Now I'm gonna run over here. Grab that. Grab that. I think I can turn that off. I think we sorted out our problem. The problem was that we ran in a circle. It's like, listen to this music. Tell me that doesn't feel like so Metroid Prime. Like, just the way it tries to do the little water effects? Oh my god. Like, it just... it feels so Metroid, it's... kind of interesting to me. Switch to the down. Alright, I think I'm good. Grail. Uh, wanna take it? Let's take it. How's it going? What you guys up to, uh, aside from getting killed? <laughs> Do you have any plans that involve not dying? Oh, stop! Fuck you up up there. Oh my god, it wouldn't do the thing that involved the thing with the thing and things. Get my mag rail. That's not who I was trying to throw. Thank you. See, that wasn't so bad. So, check the time again. It said it was about 30 minutes, but I know there's stuff to add, uh, cut out, so it's probably going to just be a really long two-parters. Maybe somewhere around the 27-minute marks for both parts, but I can I can live with that, as long as you guys can live with an extra ad in there, because, you know, longer videos, that's really the only excuse. I try to not overdo it, and I think 30 minutes, three ads is kind of reasonable. Especially when one of them is optional as it's the end of the video. Anyway, I'm Jason4R. I will see you guys later with the next episode, which will either be three parts or a long one part and then a short second. So we'll see how that one turns out. When I did do it, it was like 38 and 15. So it might end up being a three-parter because I doubt I can shave eight minutes off. Let me see something, actually. Yes, I understand. Boom, boom, boom. I haven't actually shown these off, but, uh, yeah, I thought there was a, a timer on here that says, Here's how fast you did, man! Good for God! But no. Uh, yeah, see you guys later next episode. JC4R.